hello guys welcome to another video and in this video we are going to discuss one of the most important features of go high level this feature is used a lot i think this is the most used feature of go high level and this is also the feature that people have most trouble with so we are going to discuss calendars for that we are going to go to settings and come to calendars over here Calendars are basically the system Koha Level provides for your leads to book an appointment with you. No matter what type of appointment it is, it can be a Zoom meeting, it can be a intro class for gym, it can be a doctor's appointment, dentist appointment, whatever. So we are gonna try creating a new calendar from here. I just have to name this calendar. So as we are in a roofing company, Go High Level sub account, I'm gonna say roof inspection maybe say free roof inspection calendar and description this please book a free roof inspection here appointment title so this is how it, this is how it's gonna show up in your calendar booking uh, so contact dot name means the contacts name will be shown in your calendar as a as an appointment so that's fine and this is gonna ask you a bunch of questions like how long is the appointment let's say one hour lot interval 30 minutes you can have like this is the interval one after another so maybe one hour appointment per slot you can have multiple if you want for now I'm just having one per per slot and these are the slots so let's say i want to have 8 to 12 pm on mondays 8 to 3 pm on tuesdays and in wednesdays let's say 8 to 4 and um the other things that you need to know in this is minimum scheduling notice so this is like so if i set up three days so this this says like uh, you cannot book an appointment for the next three days after that you can do it date range how many days after so let's say uh let's say 20 days so it's going to show you all the dates for the appointment uh for the next 20 days from now from today so these are the things and let's save and continue we can have a custom form we're going to discuss this later sticky contact definitely appointment uh, alert you can have an email address for appointment alerts but we can set these up in workflows so don't worry about this let the calendar auto confirm let's keep it as it is allow reschedule definitely additional notes yeah that's fine reschedule and cancellation if you keep these they uh, they will have the ability to reschedule or cancel an appointment after booking it you can have pixel id if you want to for tracking purposes custom code this is for uh this is for dis uh, like display and stuff this is for customizing the style of the calendar but not doing anything not touching that after the booking is done you can redirect the user to a new url like a thank you page or just have a custom thank you message and that's it this is how you create a go high level calendar and you can use it like you can share this link with people and they can book appointments with you